I was not a kid who was obsessed with fish, but I went to undergrad, discovered the field of evolutionary biology and really fell in love with it. There are 30,000 plus species of fish, which to me meant endless possibilities for different scientific questions to ask. My work primarily looks at the evolution of different shapes in fishes. So how the shape of an organism influences what it eats, how it eats it, and how it interacts with its environment. I'm hoping to study as I'm approaching the fall semester, things called tubercles. On our shiners and our minnows, our cyprinid species, the males will grow little keratin protrusions on their faces. There's some big questions about how they develop, where they show up on the face, and kind of why they're there at all. We can use the collection to answer questions like this by having some snapshots through time. Can we tell if they're keeping them just for the breeding season? Can we tell if there are fish that have them in December when they might not be breeding? The collections play a huge role in how we tackle those questions. Get, uh... All of these organisms are interconnected. The walleye and the largemouth bass and the little tiny minnows that are living in the same lake, they're all living in the same environment. They're all just trying to survive and reproduce and make it to the next day. When you throw in invasive species or overfishing, that's going to affect the balances of the different populations of these species and therefore influence maybe how many fish we have for fishing in a given year. And while we might not be completely reliant on those fisheries to survive, it's still a huge part of our culture and a part of our lives here in Minnesota and around the Midwest and around the world. We're trying to show through the exhibits in the Bell Museum what's in the collections and how are they used? How is that showcasing the biodiversity in the state? Having somebody be able to look closely at a fish when it's not squirming and like trying to get away can really show them the beauty of these fish and get them a close look at all of the different features of the fish that might be important to its survival.